Well, YouTube, um, since I'm uh, not near me block, I can't do a solar video. Um, the aquaponic system sort of not really doing much because before I went away, I sort of trimmed everything right back so that it wouldn't use as much water and that. Um, so at the moment I've got no pumpkins or tomatoes or anything growing, but uh, I've had me bee stuff. Um, some of you have probably heard of the Flow Hive. I was an original backer for the Flow Hive when it was uh, first introduced. And I got around to getting myself a smoker and I've got the bee veil and the suit and gloves and hive tool and a couple of the um, flow hives but I haven't got the base or any other supers or frames or anything like that yet so I'll get that eventually when, um, when I can afford it but um, I thought I'd just have a bit of a play around with this smoker now I've already got it going once just about 20 minutes ago um, and then I thought I should make a video about this so I mean there's heaps of videos on YouTube just um, have a look around you'll see tons of them but I just thought I'd have a bit of a play um, I've just got some from some leaves and stuff literally off the garden out the front and it's mostly gum leaves and a few other little bits and pieces bits of grass and stuff um, so I'm just gonna have a go at a second go at lighting this smoker um, from what I've seen on YouTube people put bits of newspaper and stuff and then light that up and then chuck everything else on it um, a lot of people tend to use pine needles but being where we are there are no pine trees so it's just whatever I can get I suppose so we're just going to try these gum leaves now where before when I did it I made sure I got all the big sticks and stuff out but I just grabbed a handful of leaves stuffed it in fairly loosely so there's not much there it's, if you compacted that right down it's probably only a, like half a centimetre in the um, bottom of the smoker uh, there is a small guard down the box I'll take, take it first and I'll show you there's this little uh, plate with some feet on it to lift the leaves and paper, whatever you want to use, up off the bottom of the smoker. Um, I suppose that's to sort of help keep the airflow around the whole of the bottom of the smoker rather than just at the one side. Um, but I suppose it's also to help keep the base a bit cooler so that you don't burn the crap out of whatever you sit this on once you get it started. So uh, one thing I did do when this came, it was these tabs were almost completely flat. So I've just bent them up so that they're about 20 millimeters high on each one and pop that in. So once you put that plate in, it's just a matter of grabbing a handful of leaves and pine bark, whatever, pine needles. And you don't need much to um, get it started. So I'll just use one of these gas barbecue candle lighter, whatever things, and just get down the bottom there and light them up so they flame. And then blow it out and close the lid off just a little bit. Give it a few pumps. And once you've got a fair bit of that smouldering, it's just a matter of putting more leaves in. Making sure, of course, it doesn't go out, but just keep pumping it. Don't try and squash it down too much to start with. Just enough to 
get it smoldering. And then just keep adding some more leaves, push them down slightly, not too much pressure. Otherwise you just squash down the, the, the leaves and stuff and it'll end up smothering it and putting it out. So. That's pretty much all there is to it. Just, uh, yeah, you don't want flames or anything, you just want it to smolder. Chuck the lid on it. Now that's a good, um, good amount of smoke there. And there you have it. Um, this has got a grill on it. I've have seen some that don't have the grill. The actual thing itself does get quite hot, enough to burn you. So if you can find ones with these grills, plus it's got a hook on it, so you can hook it onto your B box or um, frame or a fence or whatever else to hold it while you're not using it. Um, the base doesn't get that bad, you can hold your hand on it, it's not going to burn you, but you still need to be careful. And then just give it a bit of a pump every now and then just to keep it, keep it smoking. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And then just um, after you've used it for a bit, just keep checking it. make sure it um, has still got leaves and things in it and there you go heaps of smoke and it's cool yeah, there's no heat in that at all and then once you have used it and used it on your bees and all the rest of it um, I just flip it open and tip it out onto the ground and stomp it out um, probably better to have like a watering can or something like that tip, to tip it out rather than put water in this because I think if you put water inside this it would just stain it and eventually even if it does say it's stainless it, it may rust so there you go hope that was helpful to some people out there and it'll give you a bit of a clue as to the top of videos that'll come up in the future maybe next year all right, YouTube, hope you enjoyed that, and um, catch you next time. Happy beekeeping. <laughs>